this channel called Rest. I'll play this. If that does, it's not going to be very exciting. I'll put this up on. So there's our loop, unaffected. Here on this channel, once again, I've got a whole lot of strange stuff. I've got an auto filter, a redux. A redux um, changes the, the sample rate of the particular sound, so it turns out really grimy and ele electronic and show you in a minute. I've got a reverb, another grain delay for that strange thing, and a ping pong delay, which delays the sound, but it goes from left to right channel, left to right channel. That's interesting. Thing. So, what have we got next? Key number six. Okay, so this is turning on the auto filter, and the, now this time the auto filter is set to a high pass filter, so it's letting in all the frequencies that are up in the higher, higher range. Um, it's also sweeping up and down just a little bit. Um, it also turns on a reverb, which you can hear there, which is making it sound really, really cool and big. Turn it off. Let's just stop. Here we go. Start again. Here we go. So that's with it on. It's with it off. Underneath that, that's our redux. You can hear there it's kind of made the sound all grainy. I'll take it off. Turn it on. Take it off. Turn it on. And you can change the, um, the down sample um, um, parameter here if you, if you want to, and that kind of just changes how grungy you get. So that's on the most extreme. Bring it back down to something more subtle. I'll just stop the set on six for some reason. So we'll turn that one off. That's mapped to the Y key. The H key um, will be mapped to probably the grain delay, so it's probably going to make things sound pretty strange. That turns the grain delay and the ping pong delay on. And the grain delay is just doing all kinds of crazy stuff here, and the ping pong delay is just echoing what's happening once it's been mangled by this machine here. If I push in, it changes the, um, the, 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 the delay time within the grain delay. So that's just going to create some more strange effects. Yeah. Okay. We'll turn that off. Right. Let me stop that up. Okay, so those are the those are the those are the effects that I have on each six channels. And you see I've mapped them all out here in um, kind of one through six and then the three keys underneath it will um will will change the parameters of that effects unit. Okay, I'll get on to sends now. Just give me two seconds to uh have a look at my cheat sheet so I can remember. remember. Alrighty, now we're going to move on to sends. Now, send return tracks are basically a way to send the audio via. Okay, so, so at the moment we've got these layers, we've got the six layers, and they're all coming down, they're mixing together, and they're going out the master, and the master is playing everything combined. Um, what you can do with the sends is you can say, well, I want track 5 to go this way before it goes to the master. And what that means is it can go through send 5 and then to the master, and you can rack up even more effects on send 5. The beauty of this is, say, you wanted to all of a sudden send the kick to, send fi uh, to the send channel instead. So you could take the slider down to channel 5, send the kick to channel fi uh, to send 5 instead. This, um, this, is, this, is, this is good because it means you've you can set kind of a whole bunch of universal effects which you can use on any channel and you just have to decide which one you want to send um, by pushing keys on here. So what I've got is I've mapped out some um, some keys to send each channel to each send. Um, you'll see there's four sends. I've got one, they're over here. If you look over here, we've got a delay, which is a simple delay, so this is just, you, if you send anything to this channel, it's just going to give it a delay and kind of skank it out off into the distance kind of thing. Um, if we look on the next send, this has um, got a beat repeat and an auto filter on it, right? Um, so this would kind of chop the sound up and just, just do kind of stuttery things to it. The next one, C, this one I call loop, and this one I've set up um, with a delay with pretty much infinite feedback. So if you send something to this channel, it's going to keep looping it over and over and over. And once it's looping, there's various things you can do to really mess with the sound. 
Okay, so that's that's that, that's one if you wanted to take an idea and just build it up and up and up or that kind of thing. Um, and the final one is a reverb. So if you wanted to apply reverb to something, then you can send it to send number D. They're called A, B, C, and D. And if you look down on the tracks here, we've got a sends kind of area, and each track you've got the option to send A, B, C, or D. So these 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 knobs here, if you look, I can turn them like this. These these will send the sound to the sends. Um, so if I I'll, I'll stick on a I'll try a percussion loop. So I'm going to play percussion loop four, right? Here we go. Now send A, of course, which was the delay. I'm going to raise this parameter up. It's kind of like a little knob. I'm going to raise it up really quickly. I'm going to give it a burst, and you'll hear that the sound will delay off because I've sent it to the sense of the delay. So let's have a go. So you can hear that delaying when I do that. Um, send B, let's see what that happens there. So that's really, really me messing with the sound. The send it to the loop. So that's looping now. So if I was to take... Oh no, it's not looping because I haven't set the feedback up. Where are we? Feedback, 100%. Right, so if I send this to the loop, so that's looping constantly now. So if I stop that percussion loop, it's going to keep playing because it's been sent to the loop send. So it's going to keep looping that loop over and over. The, um, the way to turn that off is to bring the feedback down to zero. There you go. Um, and also, hang on, I'll get that started again. And I'll show you CMD. So if I, this one you can just bring up slowly or however you like and just apply reverb to it. So you can hear that change the sound quite a lot as well. Um, no, that's, that's all good, but using the mouse can be a bit annoying. So what I've done is I've matched the keys once again to all the sends. But this time you need to hold down the shift key. So we've still, we've still got uh, you know, 1, Q, A and Z for, for track 1. 2, W, S, and X for track number 2, but if we, hold, we have to hold down the shift key this time. So if I hold down shift and press 1, it's going to send track 1 is delay A. I need to push 3 because we're on the percussion. Do that, so I just keep it for the sense. I'll do it again. Right. Um, so if I want to send it to the reverb, it will be shift C. Okay, start the clip for you. Put in the bass line. Let's say I want to send the kick to the um, to the first end A. I'll push it uh, two. I'll we'll shift X to turn up the reverb. That's awful, but you see what I mean. Great. Um, so that's mapped map out shift. 1 through 6 and all the keys below it, that, that will send all the tracks to the individual sends. Now if we look at my chart here, this is included in the package. This is an Excel spreadsheet which I've made and it basically maps out, um, it, it maps out where everything is um, and what keys do, do what within the, within the tune. Um, if we look at these, these ones in blue here, these are these are the parameters of the effects on the send channel. So, it, 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 as I had these six channels here, and I was changing changing all the sounds and turning them off and on with the keys, now I can do the same thing with this, the effects on the send channel. So this is kind of the next level if you want to send stuff to the sends and then muck with them. This is how you can do it. Um, so let's, uh, I, I won't I won't actually go into that. You can you can figure those out for yourself. So it's kind of from seven through zero downwards. You can push those and mess with the things and really um, mess with the things. I'll do um I'll, I'll do I'll do a couple couple for you so you can have a look. 